right. Hello, everybody. Uh, I hope we're, we are live and uh, you can hear us. Uh, welcome to the 0 0.63 developer live stream. Uh, today, for the first time, we are going to be showing our 0 0.63 build live. So it's not going to be some stage demo or whatever. We are actually live, right, Peter? Exactly. Uh, before we jump into the game, uh, please write into the chat if you have any issues with the audio that we have, if anything is wrong with the video. Uh, we got a couple of guys taking care of our chat here, so they will hopefully transform that information uh, to us. As it is obvious already, uh, I am joined here with our Daisy lead designer, Peter Nespeshny. Peter, hi. Hi, folks. On the gaming station right behind us is our awesome community manager, Buddy Alquin. Buddy, hi. Uh, and we're not, we're not actually going to be here all the time. Uh, in the middle of the live stream, we're going to change for our lead animator, Victor, who's sitting somewhere right over there behind the camera. Uh, and we are also <laughs> going to invite uh, Adam, our technical animator. And we are also going to invite Eugene at the very end of the live stream. And we are going to answer some of your questions from the chats, hopefully. Uh, I think we are all ready to start actually playing the game, so let's jump into it. And Peter, 0 0.63, uh, what, what, is, what is the biggest, biggest change compared to 0 0.63, uh, 0 0.62 that you will notice immediately in the game? It's basically a new game. Yeah. Really. Uh, uh, you can witness a new character controller, which is mm -hmm. uh, much more fluid. Yep. Uh, new actions, uh, stamina, yep. uh, all that stuff, uh, or the weapon system. Right. Like uh, everything feels uh, really fresh and yep. uh, new compared to the 62 version. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think everybody from the start will notice because the best thing to do when you actually start playing Daisy is one on the coast. If there's no loot around you, you probably just want to run, run inland, and and. Uh, you know, find some goodies, find some loot. So, and, and obviously for that, uh, the big change in the game right now is that before, in 0 0.62, in legacy versions, we had basically unlimited, unlimited sprinting, and now we have a stamina system. Exactly. Uh, yeah, to be fair, uh, I would like to say the normal speed, which is uh, meant for traversing, is a uh, jog, like yep. when you just spray the w, uh, double V. And uh, sprint uh, is meant to be for fleeing from yep. uh, some situation uh, from like yep. uh, attacks from zombies, yep. players, yep. and stuff like that. R right now we're playing on a complete cross. yeah. Right now we're playing on a completely friendly friendly server. So there's un literally only three developers running in the game, so there's basically mm -hmm. no danger. Uh, for reasons that we will explain later, we also don't have the zombies included in, in the game. You will notice that. Uh, but so yeah, right now there's no immediate danger. But you can see in the in the bottom uh, in, in the bottom left corner there's yes, a stamina indicator. Yeah. Uh, there is stamina in the left corner, uh, left bottom corner, and uh, you can see uh, the stamina is stamina bar is uh, or the amount of the stamina is quite short. Yep. As I mentioned, it's uh, meant uh, mainly for the fleeing uh, from the danger. Yeah. And it depends uh, on your actual uh, weight, on the load, yeah. uh, on your character. So the more stuff uh, you are carry, mm -hmm. uh, the stamina bar is uh, cut off. Yeah. So you need to count uh, with it. Uh, if you want to have the maximum uh, stamina available, yeah. you should be Literally naked. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that'll that'll make some interesting gameplay situations, <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. So. My, oh, my glasses are wrong. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, some types of players, like uh, hoarders, uh, how to say that? Yeah. Uh, will have uh, stamina bar quite limited. Y you'll now but have to uh, actually think about the the loot that you really carry because it's going to matter a lot more. Exactly. Yes. Uh, what I want to emphasize on is, uh, like, we have a huge map, but that doesn't mean yep. you uh, should be able to traverse it uh, completely in a few minutes. Right. Like, uh, what uh, we want, uh, the intention is uh, to have some preparedness, 
in, in the settlements, in the villages, in the yep. towns, uh, between the trips. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, you instead of yeah. uh, just running straight yeah, to the before you northwest airfield. Yeah, completely to the other side of the map. Exactly. You need to plan your advance a little bit more, find the proper loot, ideally exactly. find a vehicle. Uh, obviously in 0 0.63 experimental, and that is an important point to say, when we are going to release the first experimental update of 0 0.63, uh, we will still not have vehicles. So, but when vehicles are in play, this will also probably change the system of very course, much. Uh, like vehicles in the future uh, should be really easy to find. Yeah. Like there should be like plenty of vehicles. But uh, even if they are easy to find, they are hard to fix. Yeah. So plenty of uh, parts uh, together from the vehicles you find right. around to put in the one vehicle you want uh, to be uh, operatable. Uh, and go to uh, go to the adventures you want. Right. Uh, also, there is uh, like I notice like people are a little bit afraid of the stamina system, yeah. and it's like it will take like uh, twice the time to get to the spot and stuff like that. Uh, I would say like currently the jog, the normal speed uh, you have in game, it's mm -hmm. uh, around 15 kilometers per hour, yeah. which is quite fast <laughs> and the sprint is uh, around 24 kilometers per hour okay so even uh, if you want to travel something like uh, around 10 kilometers mm -hmm. distance uh, let's say from uh, electro to the northwest Air yeah. uh, northwest airfield uh, it's around 10 kilometers uh, by airline or right. how it's called in english uh, the difference uh, with the current stamina system is around like eight to ten minutes. Right. So it's not so much, mm -hmm. actually. So again, like uh, we would like to see people to uh, go and loot settlements they visit on the on the road right. to the to the point they want to visit. Okay. So the next big change after stamina, but maybe like before I go like more deeper into the explaining like what's new in 0.63, uh, l let's just say a few differences between what is 0.63 experimental, what is 0.63 uh, stable, and what is the final release. Because I think many people don't actually know it, that we will release experimental, then we're gonna iterate there, we're gonna reach stable, that's when Daisy enters beta. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do some balancing and other other tweaking in, in that beta phase, and then we go straight to 1.0, the, the the release of Daisy. Correct? Yes. Right. Like that. So and so like what 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 should people expect from from the first 0. Point experimental release, 0. 0.63 experimental, and w what's going to be happening during development? Like very briefly. Well, to be to be clear, uh, yeah. like the very first release of experimental right. will be kinda. Truncated of features, yeah. uh, people knows from the 62, uh, but uh, we are really focusing on the on the core stuff like uh, character movement, behavior, mm -hmm. uh, gunplay, right. melee, uh, and there will be some uh, basic survival mm -hmm. uh, elements. Uh, uh, Peter, in game. sorry to interrupt you, but the chat obviously wants to see first person. Can we switch? Oh yeah. Right. Let's do this. Right, go okay. Ahead. Let's go ahead. <laughs> Uh, like uh, really few uh, survival elements will be in the first experimental, yeah. uh, like uh, hunting, uh, fireplaces, cooking uh -huh. uh, meat, and stuff like that. Uh, more stuff will come, of course, yeah. because uh, Daisy is really, really huge or wide yes. in, in so scope. Many, many features. Exactly. Small, bigger so ones. I, I want to say that uh, we are not cutting down the features, right. even if they are, no, uh, they are not in the first experimental release. Yes, so absolutely. So don't be afraid. All stuff will be in <laughs> later. So w we still want to include base building, even though if it's not in the first 0 point exp 0 0.63 experimental, Sure. We, will, we will still, over time, we are going to add it. Exactly. And just to remind everybody, we still want to uh, reach the beta and 1.0 uh, exactly. this year. People are also afraid about like cleaning and, yep. and scopes and yep. all will get into place right. when it's really ready uh, for some public appreciation. 
All right, cool. So the next big thing, yeah. So we are at the... We, Batty is trying to kill a chicken here, obviously, with the guys. So what can, what, what, what's, what's changing here compared to 0 0.60, 0 0.62? Uh, in, 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 in basically, killing a chicken, obviously you kill it, and there's a user action to, 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 to skin and get the meat from the chicken. What, what's changed here in 0 0.63? Yes, uh, of course, you can hunt the animal, which uh, seems, seems to like be hard. a bit <laughs> challenge there. <laughs> Maybe there's something <laughs> broken. <laughs> oh, she's climbing the hill, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Quite a steep one. <laughs> Uh, okay, but uh, when you when you <laughs> when you hunt uh, some animal uh, and you skin it, uh, you get uh, bloody hands, yeah. obviously. And uh, these bloody hands uh, can give you some diseases when you are try to eat with them uh, and do actions like that. Uh, so it will be better for you to wash them before right. eating and and doing other actions. And nice, oh, nice, we killed the chicken <laughs> finally. Yes, <laughs> that took long. Okay, so GG. Uh, now we will see. Probably, we're probably gonna see that it's bugged, right? Okay, it seems <laughs> a little bit off. Yeah, th th okay, th th this is why we are not releasing to experimentally yet. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, uh, you won't be able to survive basically. <laughs> And but the the, the ah, there was there a, yeah oh, okay, there we okay. Go. so Thanks. now we can uh, see after the skinning uh, the survivor character will get the bloody hands yeah uh, and we can also see that all the actions now instead of you don't knowing how long they take you have the indication how long things take you can exactly you can yeah uh, most we have like two kinds of actions. Uh, one of them are single use, like you just press the button and the action is uh, quite fast yeah. uh, with the animation. Uh, other kind, other another type is uh, like the continuous one. Uh, all actions like eating uh, or crafting uh, are the con continuous one. Yeah. Uh, some of them, most of them are able to use uh, even while character is uh, on the move. Like it's moving, walking, yep. jogging. M maybe you can show Not that. Not sprinting, of yeah, course. Yeah, maybe you can show that right now with the with the eating in the hands. That that would be yeah. That th th the long T is long awaited feature. You can exactly. you can now feed. Like, uh, on <laughs> now you can see uh, the action is ongoing. Uh, you can see the progress uh, circle in the middle of the screen, and on the left uh, bottom corner you can see the amount uh, right. of the can. So now uh, Batty can cancel it by releasing the button and that amount uh, is propagated to the yep. to the stomach so there's no more 30 percent of a can you just no, see no, it no, all no. visually exactly like uh, how long uh, you hold it how long you use yeah. the and that item. exact amount that gets eaten exactly cool so it's uh, really nice uh, allows you to uh, move while doing this yeah and uh, yeah, uh, I mentioned the stomach. Like uh, now, uh, Batty ate uh, some amount, uh, some volume of the can. Yeah. It goes uh, to the stomach, where it's split to the solid and water part, and uh, it's uh, or to be exact, to uh, the like energy. Yeah. Uh, okay, so it's a little bit more complicated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have like uh, three types of uh, stomachs. Right. Uh, one is wow, uh, for <laughs> we try to stimulate <laughs> cow, <laughs> maybe a little bit. Uh, no, no, no. Like uh, we want uh, to uh, differentiate between the like water consumption and uh, or water digest bit and uh, like the solid digest. All right. So it goes to the like stomach is uh, just one uh, uh, one thing one one volume yeah. which is going to fill it up, and uh, kilocalories and uh, water is going to separate stomachs, from which uh, it's uh, transferred to the water and energy values of the character okay. uh, over time. So even when you eat the uh, full cans, it's not just like 
snap, yeah. you get the energy. It, you it need needs, to wait. It needs to take the, time to yes. process the food. Yeah, and exactly. It's, uh, it's uh, right. going uh, over time, and uh, your water level and uh, energy level is, uh, is, is raised over time. Right. And the indication of that, obviously, as we can see, like yes, uh, of course, there is uh, indicators uh, in the right bottom corner. Uh, now we can see uh, the energy is uh, going down a little fast. It's probably because all, all of because of all the yes. log holing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, the energy consumption is. Uh, it depends on your movement, right. like the speed of the m like movement speed yeah. and stuff like that. Uh, when you are sprinting, more energy is depleted than while you are walking. Right. So uh, the energy and water levels are uh, actually the blood level regeneration uh, regeneration is. Yeah. Uh, Depends. It, it depends uh, on your water and energy level. Okay. So once uh, you see one of these two icons uh, shows uh, yellow, uh -huh. it means uh, there is a multiplier applied. Like okay. Uh, so that it's zero point zero exactly. So when uh, one of these indicators water or energy uh, energy shows uh, yellow yep. uh, your blood regeneration is slower uh, when one of these uh, indicators shows red yep. it means your blood regeneration stops okay basically so it's uh, really beneficial to keep uh, your levels uh, up right. which means uh, the white indicator shows like mm. now currently it means like when it's white, it's fine. It doesn't need to yep. really bother with it. When it's yellow, some action yep. should be You're going to have to start think to about do. it, maybe. And when it's red, it's, it means like, OK, it's critical. Yeah. Yeah. Do something yeah. right now yeah. or, or in very close feature to prevent some right. uh, stuff to happen. Guys, uh, seriously, why do you have a fireplace on the road? <laughs> 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 okay, so yeah. And, and, and uh, uh, sorry, uh, just to finish it, uh, the health regeneration depends on the level of blood. So when you have, when you are really low on blood, okay. uh, health regeneration is really slow. Yeah. When you are full on blood, uh, health regeneration, mm -hmm. health regeneration is uh, quite fast. So there's basically four things you need to watch still. Water, food, blood level and health level. Exactly, but and uh, like most important stuff is uh, basically energy and, and water levels. Yeah. Uh, because of course you can, uh, you can uh, replenish uh, the blood with the right. transfusion, with right blood bags uh, or the saline. Yeah. Uh, while blood, blood bags gives you uh, uh, immediate uh, uh, race okay. of uh, blood amount uh, in your in your uh, bloodstream or veins. Right. Uh, saline is working a little bit different. Uh, it just pumps the amount of uh, regeneration of blood itself. Right. So more beneficial for you is to use correct blood type okay. and blood backwards. Right. All right. So we have seen the guys trying to build a fireplace, uh, and and they were actually pointing the stick. At, this is all like I I I love that little <laughs> detail. Now when you're pointing the stick actually at the fire with with, with, with you know, the steak or the meat, uh, it makes this little like you know you're turning the meat around animation, and you can cancel it at any time, which is such a huge change to what Daisy was before, because now everything in Daisy basically is. Is you have it under control. You you can do things the way that you want to do it in game. Yes. And and that 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 goes for everything as movement, user actions. Is just we are, we are getting the control back to the player basically. Not not having the game do some random absolutely. Random stuff. Uh, it needs oh, to be really. Yeah. Now we're washing hands. Okay. Nice. <laughs> cool. See guys, and this ah, is this yes. is how you this is how you avoid diseases and in, in And now, uh, but you can take a sip. Yeah. To raise the uh, water level a bit. 
Nice. So you can see it in the water indicator. Yeah. Uh, down there, it's going up. Yeah. Cool. Maybe if you have a water bottle to fill it. Yeah. Cool thing is, if you want to wash your bloody hands, and you're not near, uh, you know, the water pump or any other like large water source, but you have the water bottle with the water in it, you can actually pour it over your hands and, and wash your hands now. It's a nice little detail as well. Of course, you can do it from the water bottle, as you yep. mentioned. Uh, you can do it from even pot uh, with the water in it, or canteen. It right. doesn't matter, or jerry can. So. Cool. All right, so we've covered how you... St ah, these are the new tourist trails. Adam is actually playing on the server now, so he, he cannot see it on... But this I, I bet he's one in the tactical shop. Yeah, definitely. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. I, I guess we're not going to talk about the tourist shows. Maybe let's... Oh. Currently, we can see the naked eye zoom in action. Can you show us? Yeah. That's yeah. something a lot of people ask us to do. We obviously we mentioned in status reports that for some reasons we removed it from the game. Of course, it was uh, a little bit conflicting uh, with uh, entering the iron sites. Uh, now we decided to get it back yeah. because it's a uh, kind of crucial part of, uh, of Daisy uh, to be able to focus uh, on the long distance. Even it's uh, it's not as uh, strong uh, zoom as it was before. Mm -hmm. So currently it's uh, it's implemented like uh, you are able to focus uh, your eyes to get that uh, naked eye zoom, so call it. Yeah. Uh, even uh, just uh, when you are uh, in lowered stance. Right. So once uh, you are already in raised stance with a with your weapon or right. with the melee weapon. We are not able to uh, to do the naked eye. Yeah. We will try to do something with this, but it doesn't fit the control scheme uh, we want really well. So we will see how yeah. that goes. So yeah. currently it's like that, and I think it's uh, fine right. for the, for the experiment. Also, it's yeah. back, and and you can really yeah. look closer or focus to yeah. the. So we didn't forget about that distance. feature. It's still there. So and I I know that for a lot of people it's 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 a very important feature to be able to check your surrounding this way. So exactly, it's ditch. You you like to you, you like to use the word ditch basically <laughs> often when it comes to features, but we didn't ditch this one. And uh, I think it works really nicely in, in 0 0.63. It's so smooth and and, and nice visually. Even. I like to use ditch word on the stuff uh, which is not <laughs> needed in yeah. in Daisy and. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or which uh, didn't uh, went well, but uh, we know what Daisy is, what it should be about, uh, what the vision is. Right. Uh, so all all the necessary or important stuff will be in the game, okay. if not in, ex in this experimental later. Yeah. So. Uh. What what el what el what el what else should we show in in, in, in the in the major gameplay changes part? I think we went through user actions. We we didn't get to sh to the shooting part of I the game actually still. Or the shooting part. I think uh, they shot the chicken, but uh, ah, right. maybe we can uh, show some or do some showcase uh, yeah. of the weapons, yeah. uh, like uh, right. uh, loading the magazines. Yeah. This is ah okay. No, uh, <laughs> that, that's exactly there, how you there, do there it. There is a, a little bit issue. Like uh, currently, the game thinks yeah. uh, when you do this that ammo pile is like eight meters away, so it doesn't oh, allow you okay. <laughs> to do this. Uh, obviously, it's a bug. Uh, right. Uh, maybe try to uh, drop the ammo pile on the ground. Put the magazine in your hand and point on it. And now we can also uh, showcase uh, how the crafting uh, uh, put the magazine in your hand. Is there? Yeah. 
trying to figure out if, if loading the magazine okay, is broken. Okay, you have a magazine and uh, the no, 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 put it put it on the ground. Put an pile on the ground, yeah. and now you can see you can yeah. load magazine and directly is, from the ground. Yeah. This is how you how you now load magazines in in, in the game. You, you need to have the items physically available exactly. somewhere. Every on the every round is basically a continuous action, yes. uh, which is quite short. Of course, it depends on the balance, uh, the amount of the time to fill the full mag, uh, but uh, it can be clearly. Uh, we have uh, three ways uh, mm -hmm. how to make this. It can be done from the inventory, which is <laughs> obviously not working this time. Yeah. But uh, you can just drag and drop uh, ammo pile on yeah. the magazine in your hand to combine it. It will throw you in the in the world, and by by holding the left mouse button, you will be right. uh, doing the loading. Uh, or you can have the ammo pile in your quick bar, yeah. uh, and by holding the uh, quick, uh, uh, quick slot number. Yep. You can start uh, loading it, uh, or it uh, should at least uh, show you the action mm -hmm. for it. Or you can have that ammo pile on the ground. Right. So there are like three ways to do same mm -hmm. action, uh, which is really nice when you want to fill uh, plenty of your max yep. uh, quite <laughs> fast. Uh, you will throw some stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, on the ground and, and yeah. do it from the ground. So now when without you want visiting to the inventory. Yeah. Uh, I want to emphasize uh, that uh, we really want uh, to minimize uh, uh, inventory opening or uh, going to inventory to check some uh, basic stuff. Right. Uh, actually, we are running uh, on the version from yesterday. And now you can see in the left uh, bottom corner, uh, but he holds uh, FNX uh, 45 uh, in hands. And uh, now we have also the uh, mode zeroing and uh, MO available show in that batch uh -huh. about the stamina. Uh, but, yeah, but it's uh, in today's version, not in this right. uh, we are running currently. So uh, maybe uh, can you have, a, let's say, a pile in your hand? To just show, like uh, there is the amount uh, of it shown in the hut. Yeah. Yeah, we can see there is a uh, 25 yeah. from 25 rounds. So I instead uh, of having in the information on like all different places, because the zeroing was in the top right corner. Yes. And yes. So you have it all in one place, nicely positioned, right exactly. above the stamina. Uh, we tried some uh, different iterations. We have zeroing and uh, and oh. <laughs> nice, but he found the uh, ambiently spawned yes. stone. So really nice. Uh, no more texture spamming. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's that's thing of the past, and it was really a really uh, placeholder which stayed with us for such a long time. Yeah. So finally, it's uh, it's solved uh, through the central economy. You can found the uh, apple stones uh, and later other stuff like uh, mushrooms mm -hmm. uh, maybe sticks uh, and and Things other like other yeah. fruits like pears or plums oh. uh, in in so the world it's not going to be only apples but we are actually going to be able to find pe pears yes sometime. yes like oh, uh, cool. we should really uh, <laughs> focus on the fruits uh, which uh, chenarus can yield yeah, instead sure. of uh, have uh, Bananas and kiwis. Right. Uh, <laughs> Although it's a nice Easter egg, obviously, to have the oh, kiwis maybe in the game. Maybe, maybe we will use uh, these uh, in some events and right. stuff like that. Yeah. Or maybe we will make uh, a banana made of plastic so people can wear it in the chest holster and stuff like that. Ooh. But. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's happening, uh, guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, yeah, but we are trying to uh, have uh, more common foods in, in general than these exotic ones because uh, if we say like this, uh, this stuff is happening like yep. maybe like three, five years uh, after the outbreak or something like that, there wouldn't be fresh bananas in general, of course. So Obviously, for very obvious reasons. Uh, all right, we, we've talked a little bit about the. Uh, you know the hands, the 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 quick the quick slot. 
basically. What's the correct? I always forget the correct name in English for it. Quick slot. Quick bar with quick, quick slots. Bar. Yeah, quick bar with quick <laughs> slots. All right. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, so now, obviously, as we explained with the user actions, you now need to use it probably a little bit more than you used to in 0 0.62. Uh, well, yes, because um, now the R key yeah. isn't used uh, for the reloading. Right. So uh, maybe Bati can show us uh, how she will reload uh, her gun. Uh, you you can do it basically from the yeah. inventory still. Th like this was this was this was pressing the R. He just you know like yes, uh, the like R the key weapon. is uh, charge. Uh, the weapon. So basically, yep. in this uh, semi-auto or full-auto uh, firearms, uh, you will throw out the uh, the round which is loaded in the chamber. Yeah. Uh, and now, when you press the correct number on the quick bar yes. with the quick slot, it will actually load the magazine. Exactly. Uh, he will load the magazine uh, in the gun. So also, it's a change uh, we wanted to make uh, because. To get some preparedness uh, mm -hmm. for the situations yep. uh, which <coughs> may came, uh, to basically get ready. Like yeah. uh, even in real life, yeah. you have uh, your magazines in your pockets or right. even the ammo piles. So it uh, it makes sense. It's a little bit against the like uh, the conventions uh, yeah. in in the game industry. Yeah, the typical fast pace, like press R to reload, exactly. instantly so, done. Uh, we'll see how, how this goes, uh, how it will play uh, from our internal test. Yeah. It's, uh, it's really nice. It creates great tension to get to the cover, to load your magazines, yes. to get prepared, to reload the gun. It's uh, it's really amazing experience, and uh, if we plug uh, the jamming in uh, the situation, basically, it will get even more tense. Right. So, uh, but jamming one came to yeah. the first experimental for now. Coming later. Exactly. So, but it's it's really nice to have a like more tactical approach right. uh, to get. Uh, uh, right now in zero, yeah. right now in zero point sixty, it's kind of fine if you go into a basically a gunfight with just one magazine and stacks of ammo because you can like quick load, quick load, quick load, basically repeat. Now it's actually much better if you have at least a couple of magazines because then you can much quickly, you know, you can you don't have to wait for all the reloading. You just take the magazine, reload that, and you don't have to load it with the ammo. You really need to think in advance, like exactly. what do you want to do, what do you want to be prepared for, and stuff like that. Okay. Now we can see some uh, MB and apples uh, spawned under the apple trees. Nice. Uh, there was some mention from the mentions from the community, like uh, if the apple trees uh, will spawn on the trees, uh, actually, uh, and similar stuff. We tried that, mm -hmm. but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's uh, really hard to do because uh, the spawned items uh, are basically static, right. and the uh, wind and the trees are shattering in the wind or the moving in the wind. So we will see the static apple, and the tree will be moving uh, left and right, which doesn't look good. <laughs> so we decided to spawn apples under the trees, and I think it's uh, it's fine and it's much much better yeah. than it was before, uh, like that search for apples action. So I think it will be appreciated by okay. players. Cool. So we have one like very general question from the chat. It was a while back, and the question generally says, "There's going to be generally some of the very old bugs in Daisy, less thing." You know, breaking legs on ch uh, on staircases and things like this. <laughs> so, are we gonna address those in 0 0.63, Peter? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I uh, the breaking legs uh, bug. Uh, basically, it, it it wasn't a bug. It uh, yeah. it was uh, an issue. Right. It was an issue with the uh, synchronization right. and, and and stuff around it when yeah. the server. Uh, thought you are at some place, yeah. but actually you you, you uh, had been in the some other place. And when he uh, get this stuff uh, equal, so right. the servers uh, is yeah. all the right. 
always uh, right. So it uh, just like slapping on that position, it falls from the such uh, high yeah. height, which will damage uh, your leg. Yeah. Uh, now the synchronization is much better. Uh, new character controller is much better. Mm -hmm. It's using uh, yeah. like actual physics, right? Uh, not physics, but the but the bullet physics. Okay. Uh, and oh. uh, it's uh, it's really nicely done. So there won't be any issues uh, like uh, you mentioned now. So right. Like no. And and this one specific example of the. You know the staircases. This is like one of the most common legacy Daisy issues that we've had, and with the rewrite to a new scripting language, uh, with the rewrite of the animation system, and all these technology parts of the game. Basically, that's why you guys are waiting so long. Yes, exactly, <laughs> because it's going to address some of the most critical, annoying issues that. Definitely. Everybody had with the legacy Definitely. Daisy versions. Definitely. Uh, now we can see some uh, some millified action uh, with <laughs> millified. Uh, we changed back from the combos uh, we were talking about uh, in status report a uh, <laughs> while back. to shave herself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shaving won't be in the first experimental. No. Okay. I know. Uh, there's an issue. We can oh. uh, uh, <laughs> we can we can hide the uh, uh, bird uh, geometry from the yeah, character yeah, head okay. because for some reason uh, characters head it's is special case from everything you see in Daisy, <laughs> okay. and it's not working on the. <laughs> uh, oh, but event full cannibal cannibalism. <laughs> typical. Uh, so. Uh, I think that's Mr. Moon's influence, really. <laughs> <laughs> so there won't be a uh, bird growing and, and, and shaving birds in the first experimental. Right. The firstly needs to solve it on the engine part, of course, like with uh, any other stuff which right. will be missing in right. the first experimental. But what's going to be in the first experimental is obviously, and you started with that, the new melee combat system. Yes, uh, the new melee combat, like... Uh, uh, you was able to see uh, a little bit while ago. Uh, we can we have uh, light attack, we have uh, heavy attacks uh, with the shift modifier basically, uh, which uh, is depleting stamina. So you will be uh, you will need to manage your your stamina yep. even for the melee combat. Uh, of course, everything is uh, bound to the balance. Right. Uh, so how you see it uh, right now, or how it will be in the first experimental, that it doesn't mean it yeah. will be like that uh, in the beta release. So we are going to release it mainly for testing and right. to see like uh, how it plays uh, by public. Yeah. Uh, and and yeah, and there is uh, of course uh, like light attacks, uh, heavy attacks. We had uh, combo attacks before, right. but it was uh, really tedious because. Uh, in fact, we have uh, different uh, hit impact animations uh, yeah. from different uh, attack types. But uh, when the combo chain was like uh, light, light, heavy attack, mm -hmm. you had uh, like light impact, light impact, and heavy impact, right. which uh, <coughs> takes a uh, decision from the player uh, yeah. which attack uh, or uh, which damage or uh, imp kind of impact he want to uh make for the opponent right uh so because of that uh we basically did it and with light and heavy attacks it's 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 much better player can control uh the progression of the fight or the outcome of uh, of his action basically right. uh apart from the attacks uh there is uh blocks and uh also we wait uh, I think uh, evades are currently commented out in this uh, version from yesterday. Yeah. Uh, but there should be blocks uh, which uh, should uh, mitigate uh, damage done and right. uh, lower the impact, which means like when you are hit with the heavy attack, uh, while you are blocking, you just get the light right. uh, hit <laughs> impact. Uh, the impact types uh, differs uh, with the... 
uh, with the animations, uh -huh. which uh, maybe uh, Victor and Adam can talk about. Yep. Like light impact is uh, <coughs> additive, mm -hmm. like you can still move while uh, you are in, but the heavy impact will literally lock you in the animation of the of the heavy impact because right. it's full body. So mm -hmm. you can move uh, while you are playing that animation of the heavy yep. impact. Before we pass the word to Victor and, uh, and Adam from our animation team, uh, there is one pretty important question from the chat that I think we can answer already. And obviously with, with the change uh, in gunplay as well in Daisy, uh, there has been done, there, ha there have been some changes done to the actual weapons way. This is also one of the concerns of the legacy versions of Daisy. Obviously we've talked about this in status reports, so everybody who reads status reports already knows. Mm -hmm. But in short, can we explain how, how the weapons way changes? In of course, uh, the sway and the recoil uh, was kind of issue in the previous version or in the old Daisy. Yeah. Uh, maybe we can see that uh, if Betty goes to the uh, iron sights. Ah, there is chicken hand again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe. Uh, okay, uh, can you go to the iron sights again? And uh, we can observe the sway, which is. Uh, kind of minimalistic, yeah, there's no like <laughs> overdone. When you uh, hold the hold breath uh, button, uh, control for now, you can see yeah, you can the see stuff sway like is basically gone, uh, but the holding breath depletes your stamina. Yeah. So again, you need to a little bit micromanage your stamina uh, to have that. Uh, when the stamina is gone, you can see the sway is now much, uh, much worse. Uh, so after the sprinting, after the uh, after losing your stamina, the sway is uh, worse. Uh, Ooh, <laughs> we crashed for the first time today. All right. Okay, with the with the. Uh, what what happened nice. actually? Can you send me? Uh, yeah. This VME? This bug reporting live on live yeah. stream. <laughs> QA is gonna really have fun. Really important. <laughs> uh, and. Um, uh, the recoil is uh, similar. It's uh, also completely redone from yep. scratch, and uh, uh, we have uh, random, uh, not random ang angles, but uh, predefined uh, angles uh, and the kicks. Yeah. And uh, in that, uh, uh, how it's how it's called in that slice. Okay. <laughs> It's uh, being uh, randomly choose with some weights, so you are not getting the same recoil uh, always uh, when you shoot. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's uh, really nice. Also, the recoil and sway can be mitigated with some uh, attachments uh, like the hand guards mm -hmm. or butt stocks uh, and stuff like that. Right. Okay. So do we have maybe one more question? We gotta, I think it's a good opportunity to get actually ready for the switch with Victor and Adam. So you guys can start preparing slowly and as soon as Buddy is back in the game, we can do it. And I'm gonna search for some more questions from the chat maybe. Uh, new gestures. Okay, we can start with oh. showing some new gestures when <laughs> that's <laughs> done. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually currently uh, as the uh, even gestures like uh, which are uh, full body and uh, are two-handed yeah. uh, with uh, omits uh, the item in hands. Uh, they are working, but there are some, some issues. Uh, Bati <laughs> put, <laughs> put her items uh, from hands uh, off, so maybe she can uh, show some uh, yeah. SOS. Yeah, let's start with some or gestures. Or do, do we know the key binding, though? No. <laughs> uh, we changed the key binding <laughs> <No>. <laughs> a little no. bit. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we have so many gestures, uh, uh, it will need uh, radial menu, actually. Yes. So we will be still able to uh, bind uh, functional keys to the gestures, but uh, there will be more of them, so uh, it will be accessible through the radial menu, right. which will be uh, which will be divided by the groups, uh, like the friendly and thread and stuff like yep. that. Uh, 
we want to add, uh, and I think it's uh, already uh, been done, like uh, some uh, uh, military hand gestures, like mm -hmm. uh, go, stay. A and then the animation team's favorite. Go down and stuff like that. The rock, paper, and oh, scissors. Oh, rock, paper, scissors, that, of course. Uh, that, that's going to be absolutely <laughs> awesome. I can't wait but, for it uh, to be But personally, I right? would be happy if uh, at least suicide gesture will oh, be able okay. in the first experimental. So, uh, as I want to say, uh, we have uh, a little bit issue with the items in hands while yeah. doing gestures, at some gestures, so maybe we will allow uh, these, which are not problematic ones, like greeting uh, and stuff. But uh, these two-handed uh, full body stuff maybe will be uh, will not be in the first experimental right. release. Okay, so I think this wraps up our part, Peter. Thanks a lot for for coming to the live stream. I think we've we've showed some some of the cool new stuff. It was my pleasure. To yeah, to talk so to you and to showcase some stuff uh, to you guys. So I hope you enjoyed. Yeah. All right. Let's switch up. Uh, we're gonna have Adam and we're gonna have uh, Victor coming in. Buddy, are you ready to let the station for Adam? Cool, let's do this. Okay, so how, how are we doing? We we just need to we just need to teleport for a different location, right, buddy? Okay, yeah. So we're gonna start with letters. So ideally, if we go to alter, that that would be nice. All right, Victor, you can you can already start coming in here. Hello, hi. Welcome to the live stream, Victor. How do you feel? You are traveling today, right? Yep. Yeah, that way. I was hello, today. hello again. Welcome to the live stream, Victor. Hey. So you were traveling today, right? Yes, you were visiting I our colleagues in the Brno office. I was visiting our our other office, so we we'll have some meetings there. And yeah. But I made it back, so. Nice in time. In we time. were a little bit like worried because it was like really close, about <laughs> two hours before the live stream, but you made it, so yeah. GG. All well. right. Hello, hello, Adam. This is Adam Orston, our technical animator. Did I pronounce that correctly, by the way? Yep. <laughs> yeah, that way, that right. Way. Yeah. We have very complicated microphones. Yeah, these ones are not used to. <laughs> All right. All right. So, welcome to the live stream, madam. Thank you. Uh, Hello, everyone. Yeah. Let me check what, what we want to start with. I think we wanted to start showing some of one of the coolest new things in, in the new animation system and in the player controller. And that would actually be uh, the prone animations and, and, and oh, the yeah. prone aiming, this kind yeah, of yeah, stuff. Yeah, for sure. It's been a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, I think it's one of the, those more exciting features in, in the new player, because like, that's like something we couldn't think about in the old system. Uh, so as you can see, the character is able to go prone and just turn 360 degrees on the ground. Uh, if you put some gun, if you have, Adam. Yep. Cool. Yeah, so you can actually aim now, doing this, which which Ooh. looks smooth, yeah. Except for the first person camera clipping, which we need to resolve, obviously. That's, that's definitely a high priority for us, to yeah. look into a first person and just to improve it, and just make it properly, obviously. Yeah. But yeah, the prone, uh, the prone at the moment is still working progress. Uh, so far, we do have some of the features already plugged in, but... We're planning to definitely improve that. Uh, as you can see, actually in Crouch, you can notice there is a new pose right now. Yep. Uh, and the character actually has a proper turning animations now. It looks much better even for, uh, from a third person. Uh, so if you see like the other character doing these turns, it yeah. looks kind of realistic, I would say. Yeah. And it doesn't impede your movement either. Like if you're turning, it doesn't stop you from instantly going in the direction that you want to go. So there's still some camera issues, like we said, we need to work out, but that, that will come with time, obviously. Yep. Yep. So as well, as well, sorry for interrupting, Victor. 
as well like a lot of back fixing and the general polishing of all the things that we start to switch off and switch on in 0 0.63 th these will change you know with, with the back fixing and with the polishing over time definitely in experimental yes. and in beta definitely yes we are keep improving what we have yeah <laughs> thank you so yeah, so the new the new player, uh, the player character is I would say very different from the old one. Yeah. Um, it's maybe not that noticeable in the video, but once you touch the controls, yeah, Th you will definitely that's notice when the magic happens. right away because the um, character is just responsive. Like yeah. if you if you play with this one, you don't want to go back to the old one, right. like no. literally. Yeah, I've been I've been trying to play some uh, 62 yeah. on Steam, and it's just after I've been it, working it's with this, very it's impossible. Hard. Yes, <laughs> feels kind of off. Like, yeah. So we can actually showcase like the responsibility responsibility a bit, like uh, yeah. the fact that you can actually interrupt the animations. So if you decide to go to a different stance, you have actually option to change your mind, and the new system allows yeah. us to interrupt the animation. Uh, which is which is kind of cool, and you can see there's like this go to prone, which also adds to some immersion. Yeah, and it feels really good to be able to just kind of blend in between. Okay, I want to move to prone, but I want to stop doing it so you don't fall off the roof. It it really allows you to sort of control your character to an extent that you are not able to do that in 62. Right. Yes. So uh, let me check here really quickly. So, like, obviously, behind the new animation system and the player character, uh, there's a l there, uh, there's obviously a lot of work behind it, and it does not only influence the way that the character feels and moves in the game, but it also has a little bit of influence on the other things. Can you maybe like explain like what what other systems it actually helps w to have the new animation system? Yeah, yeah, obviously, like. Uh uh, the fact that we work on the system for some time also reflects the fact that we were having some troubles in the past with the previous system regarding the network yeah. communication. Uh, <laughs> so this one, the latest one, the final one, the most imp most advanced one yeah. system, finally has like some significant improvements mm -hmm. in the network communication and like inbound sending of packets. Like right now, it just like it works yeah. smoothly. So yeah, so yeah, this one helps a lot, like the server client communication. Yeah, cool. And in in general, it also having this new system that we have to like iterate for for a really really long time over the course of the development of Daisy. It it just generally helps you guys and and, and the design team achieve generally more in in the game itself. Absolutely, yes. Like um, uh, it's really great that uh, we are like working with uh, animation programmer on the features that we actually yep. need, right? So that means that uh, he has developed a system the way that we have asked. Mm -hmm. uh, and it gives us great iteration times, for instance. So for us to bring animation in game, it's just a matter of minutes, literally. Right. Uh, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, also, uh, the design influences how we make the animations, right? So for instance, as you told here about the user actions, mm -hmm. uh, we have changed the animations so we can allow this continuous action. So right now we have separated the animation into three different three different parts. Yeah. And this gives us a great opportunity to to interrupt the animation after a certain of time or like send events when guys needed to yeah. calculate their stuff. Yeah. So as Adam was showing a little bit, maybe I missed that. But mm -hmm. basically when you start eating or drinking yeah. and suddenly you see any signs of danger, maybe like a you know a uh, enemy, enemy survivor, like you know, hostile survivor approaching you or wolves. You can immediately you stop can the action and you can s just start sprinting right away yeah, with no away, issues. Yeah. Like uh, that's that's probably the most visible part uh, comparing to the old system, the one that is actually all 62 using at the yep. moment. Uh, that uh, in the old system, because of the technology used, we were not able to to play differential, partial, or all of this kind of cool yeah. animations or combined animations. Yeah. Uh, right now, we have basically almost no limitation in that. Uh, we have just limitation regarding performance. If we yeah. blend, if we blend too much, we can probably cause some trouble right. <laughs> to the server side. But otherwise, uh, we can do like maybe Adam, if you could just show like the look at and oh maybe yeah. aim spaces like in different poses. Yeah. So 
as you can see, the character is like, at this point, he's playing like mixing two animations at least. Yeah. You can see when you start moving, he's only looking with his head. So you stop, you start looking with your whole body, and it's it's very natural looking in that sense. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think it's more of a spot in Crouch if you try that one. So you can see he's like still holding his feet on the ground. Uh, so I can answer one of the questions. Yes, we are using IK. Right. <laughs> cool. uh, uh, we are using inverse kinema kinematics on feet and on, on hands as well. Yeah. Okay. And obviously, like getting to this point, having this much control over the game, having the option to blend different animations together and, and do basically almost exactly what you guys want from the game to, to do, obviously took took some time and I think we've, yeah. we've iterated like I mean this is one of the parts of the game that took the most time to develop properly of uh, course it's like it's very important part of the game yeah. the character right because the game is about yeah. players it's all and about, about your character and like about survive. your survivor so yeah. of course like to deliver the quality that we wanted it took some time to iterate like Unfortunately, it meant that we, for instance, had to throw away the second animation system yep. uh, in the process. Um, it was great. Uh, it it it's been used or it's still used for zombies in yep. the experiment uh, in the current uh, public release. Yep. But once we went to inter integrate player, uh, we just realized that it's the player is too heavy for that system. Right. Where we just started to work on this advanced one. And I think the iteration to the, the the engine team and you, the, uh, the animation and, and the animation program is some, something close to the past three years, basically, yeah, of Daisy that, development yeah, getting to that true. point. Yeah, And of course, it included quite a few people, like, yeah. on either on programmer side on, on the animation. Yeah. So, so while it's taking its time, immediately, I think when everybody just jumps into the game and takes control of their character for the first time, this is the most noticeable change in Definitely, yes. I think it's something you cannot miss if you yeah. if you used to play with the current Daisy that is out and you touch this character, you will see it's it's literally a different game in that in that matter. So yeah, like also like regarding the amount of animations because of the possibilities that we right now have, that meant that we have to increase the amount of the animations yeah. basically uh, like for instance the guns are high detailed animated right now so you have like reload chamber you know you have recoils you have uh, like yeah. this uh, weapon action and, and like everything is properly placed for yeah. each weapon yeah I, I think like um, the weapons are really nicely animated so the guys did a great job yeah Obviously, adding the content back to the 0 0.63 that, that we've had in 0 0.63, because Daisy has quite a lot of different weapons. Yep. So that process of adding the things up to the content still takes some time. So we got we are going to keep adding the, 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 the weapons throughout the 0 0.63. And if you guys are f watching the... Uh, if you guys are following our status reports and if you have seen the checklist that we've just recently published on, on our website at daisy.com... Uh, you already know that there's going to be some like content differences between in the first 0 0.63 experimental and throughout the 0 0.63 experimental, but the goal is now that we can you guys can iterate much faster with with the version of the game that we have now. Absolutely. That the content can can be added at much more faster pace than waiting on legacy versions of Daisy for for for. And a I year think Adam is very nicely pointing to to this building that he is standing next to. Yeah. Uh, so let's move on to letters. Yeah, yeah. I think that's one of again like cool improvements from the old, old Daisy. If you will see like how the character enters letter now. Yeah. It's like I think a bit better. Uh, yeah. We have uh, different speeds on the letters as well, so you can yeah. like go down a bit more faster if you want as well. And especially the different is the exit animations on top. I think that's the yep. most visible one because right now the character just plays nicely. Yeah, and one thing to point out as well, the the camera is still work in progress. Obviously, it yep. will f it will definitely improve how it looks and how it feels when you enter these. And as well as going into the ladders is really yeah. nice now as well. But so. you can see uh, even now, I think it's like it's a great improvement. Yep. But the camera is definitely a big focus for us for for f near future, so that's something we will work on a lot. But yeah, you can see like the letters work mm -hmm. pretty smoothly. Yep. And there was an, one of another concerns in the legacy versions of Daisy, 
the letters now of compared to like the very very old releases of Daisy standalone are already much improved. Yeah. But just playing with with letters in 0.63 in general will have you feel much safer about you actually climbing a letter in Daisy, right? Absolutely. Like <laughs> <laughs> like all of those uh, Unless accidents. You get shot at. <laughs> Unless you get shot at, then you're a bit of screwed. course. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, but uh, definitely, like, I think it, it's a general improvement, like, to these issues where you just fall and break yourself yeah. or right. die because and of some, yeah. uh, like, right now uh, for upcoming uh, experimental release that will be uh, sometime, yeah. uh, we don't have, like, for instance, final version of uh, Overcoming Obstacles yet, right. but that's something that we are actually actively working right now. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you, like, look at the letters, that's that's probably the quality we're aiming at. So I think with the Overcoming Obstacles, with the new yeah. with the new ones, it will be another great addition mm -hmm. to Daisy because, like, going through the terrain will be yeah. smoother. For, for those who don't know, uh, in, in, in the legacy versions of Daisy, you have the uh, the basic vault over like yeah. an obstacle animation, and that will now be completely changed. We're going to be have like two different types of going over obstacles. I right? think like uh, more like three, four. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Like animation-wise, it's even more, yeah. but like visually, I think it will be around around four visual different states yeah. that you will notice. Yeah. So, but we will have the uh, we should have the like jump over over obstacles. Absolutely. Yeah. And then we have the actual climbing of like. Climbing over, over or climbing on the yeah. obstacles. So yes, yeah, that's that's something we are yeah. adding the animations right now to the prototype yeah. for the programmers to plug that in. Um, so yeah, I think like this next week we will have like some working prototype that we will build on then. Yeah. So unfortunately we can't show that right now because it's still not in the game, not. but we're very close. So Definitely. I think in one of the following status reports, I think we will maybe be able Hopefully, to tease yeah. a little bit. Yeah, Because that's going to be like a huge addition again. It will again. be like, yeah, because I think it's for Daisy especially where you have a different environment, obstacles or different environment buildings, yep. walls, yes, fences, you should be able to go over that. Okay. Zigzagging. zigzagging. How, how do we solve zigzagging in like fast movement with the mouse. Yeah, um, so we are already solving it a bit at least. Uh, it's still again work in progress, but yep. uh, if you, for instance, now do like a quick run and you turn, the, the character will just slow down and yep. uh, it will disable the zigzag a bit right. at least. But uh, it's something we iterate at the moment to give like some good feeling yep. and good result for, for the guys in the design team. Right. And as Peter was and as Peter was uh, saying earlier, uh, right now in 0 0.63, the gameplay is a lot more about thinking like planning the next steps ahead. And obviously right now if you get into combat, you cannot right, you know, you cannot no, you do the very very super quick like, you know, running from side to side. So that that's one more thing to 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 think about during the gameplay. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Victor, do you still have anything in specific that we want to show? Maybe I'm going through our list here, and it seems like, except for like maybe more of the melee combat, we've we've went. Yeah, regarding quite a lot melee, of uh, I'm not sure if if Adam is alone in yeah, this area. Yeah, that's, so that's, that's the issue. Okay. That's fine. We, we probably won't issue. be able to show the hit reactions, right. but as uh, but as Peter suggested, yeah, Peter is Peter is also suggesting now though that if we are near a water somewhere, maybe. No. Oh yeah, that's true. Not we we sure forgot we about are. it, but we I think just look into the distance somewhere. It's gonna take some time to get there though. Oh, I mean, we can teleport. We're the developers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it would be nice also to show off maybe some injured player to show yeah, that absolutely. sort of blend right. in between the two states that we have. Can, okay. you, can you cheat in this version? Can I do it? I don't know. This is since this is oh, I can. Yeah, just <laughs> we'll look just at do some cheating there. I'll just do some cheating. So we have uh, the injured, and as you can see, the character sort of visibly gets more yeah. and more sort of injured as as I'm showing. Yeah, this. like a little and bit shrung in the, uh, yeah, the animation. So yeah. And you can see now when I start moving, it's very visible even from a yeah. far distance that I'm going to be uh, injured. Uh, though it seems like um, the server might not be showing what the speed that's actually visible yeah, in the animation. Yeah, you so are cheating. Yeah, because yeah. I'm <laughs> cheating. But the animation is there, and obviously the, the more injured you are, the slower you are. And when you reach a certain point, sprint is just not longer there for you. So at that point, you're, you're basically limited to the, to the run speed, which makes right. you an easy target as well. Yeah. So the more you injure someone, the easier they will be to hit. Cool. So yeah. 
and as you can see, if I'm like halfway injured, there is sort of like a hobbling animation between those two states. So it's not just binary, it's not just fully healthy and fully yep. injured. It's sort of like this half in between. And we're tweaking the values on like trying to find the sweet spots in those animations. Yep. And we're, we're slowly getting there to, to a final sort of uh, version. But basically right now we do have all the animations for injured in game. Mm -hmm. That means um, it's coming uh, with, the, with the next updates. And also it's a kind of huge amount of work to be like, uh, to see like it's basically double of the character mm -hmm. that was there because we had to cover all the animation states and all the transitions and all the right. look -ats and all the aim spaces. So it is quite a lot, but it's I think it's very visibly exciting. Okay. Nice. Uh, one, one other thing that obviously we didn't mention just yet is that in Daisy we now have proper falling animations. Um, Again, it's something that uh, we are be, will be working on with the obstacle overcoming obstacles. But we do have some falling animations already. I think you will have to be a bit higher. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure if we're able to fall from this since the railing is sort of inhibiting us from taking huh. any sort right. of suicide. But uh, well, I think we can maybe still teleport at least on the roof of the yeah. little. Yeah, that's one thing we can do maybe. Yeah, that would be nice. Ideally, if we could get to that water somewhere. But yeah, water yeah. with falling would be nice. Yeah. Um, so how do I teleport exactly? <laughs> there uh, you go. Here we go. Let's try to find some some water here. So I guess these ponds will do. So it's insert. Oh. There we go. There we go. So yeah, it's a really nice natural blend once you get into the, the deeper waters, which this doesn't seem to be, actually. <laughs> no, not deep enough. Not enough, no. Maybe in this little pond here. Obviously, no, I think you'll need a bit bigger. Yeah, yeah probably yeah, need, we need some sea. Yeah, let, let's go to the coast, actually. Zoomies. So, yeah, so yeah, that's one of the latest additions as well that we have been working on, like swimming. Actual, like, nice transitioning to the swim, and there are two speeds right now for yep. the swim. So you can go either slower or a bit faster. Yep, like that. We're still playing with the, with the speed that they will allow you to travel at. Is there... They're relatively the same now, but obviously everything is, is being worked on here. So yeah, we are also planning, like right now it's a very basic um, implementation of the swimming from our side. Yep. Uh, Feature-wise, I think it's, it, it works very well, but we will be adding a bit more animations so we can like add some turning yep. in the water and maybe a bit better idle animations and such. So yeah, we will iterate on that as well. All right. But yeah, the swimming is also kind of cool. And it's not just going forward either. We do have some slow movements to the sides, and we just need to plug those animations yep. in, and uh, it will look really will natural. Add. So you're not just forward. There is also directional. Yeah, I think everybody who play, played Daisy for long enough can already also see the different uh, the visuals of the water are now also changed quite significantly. You can see a different... All right. looks nice, actually. This is one of the first times I'm seeing the new new water and new sea, actually. Let's see if I can find some falling oh, yeah. here. Oh, Let, yeah. Let's, let's do some falling. Yeah, some falling. So we are planning to have a different fall de animation depending on the height of the fall. <laughs> uh, so right now I think this will be the highest fall from <laughs> them all. So you just, yeah. Obviously the damage is... Is the damage plugged in? Yes, it does. It yeah. already, Definitely. Yes. So now you can actually see the actual speed of the of the injured as well. I got really injured from that from that fall, so it's really playing across the animation. And once you see a player hobbling along like this, he's easy pickings for your yep. banditry. You can, you can put a gun in your hand maybe, so we have mm -hmm. a different, different injury animation. Yeah, and obviously this will play into your first person view. You can see it's, it's not really reliable in that sense. Since obviously the more hurt you are, the harder will be. Yep. Let's see uh, some maybe some yeah, rifle animations. Yeah. So all of them are are different, and they all kind of play across differently on the character as well. And they all have look ats and everything. So. And yeah. as the character heals, you get more of the normal animation and less of the injured one. So there is there's some blending as well in this situation. All right. We can maybe show some light falling as well, but I'm afraid that will probably kill my character. And oh, <laughs> yeah, I think you, if, you, if you fall from those logs, yeah, it should, it should be, be fine. It should yeah. be light. So you can see here as well the the sprinting is not full speed at this point. It's sort of a half in between the more injured, and then I fall. And you can see that the this is mainly like the light fall, and it's yep. mainly just showing across the upper body, um, and uh, 
since the since the fall from the roof was definitely several meters, this this little fall won't break your legs or kill your character. Yeah, we were planning to have this the lightest fall to have it actually kind of maybe procedural. The last time I talked with uh, with our programmer and to give to to give more control to the character so he doesn't get interrupted and play some additive animation over that. So. Yeah, let's uh, go on to this building here. I think this is a good like mid mid range fall. Yeah, it might be. I, I'm not sure about those values at the moment, to be honest. Let's see here. Yeah, so they kind of more more of the legs going into that fall as yep. well. Yeah, and you can see now the less the less injured I become because I have the uh, the healing system that Peter was talking about before. You can see that the character is getting more natural in his movement and it's sort of showing across. And the sprint has also gotten faster. Sure, you can still see a bit of limp in there, but it's not just fully uh, fully run. It's more sprint now. So right. maybe if you do you have a do you have some food? I do have some food. I if you could apple. just like eat something like yeah, if you could show him from from. So we can see the face. Oh yeah, I don't think I don't. I'm not entirely sure I can with the. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit hard with the look at. Yeah. But yeah, we do have. Uh, we're working on facial animation on on the characters, but I'm not entirely sure if all the heads are ready for that yet. It all might right, be I some see. some issues with that. Our stock character that we're working <laughs> with, our development that's character, true, true. has facial animations when you're eating, when you're drinking, and you're doing these actions. Uh, there's a couple of funnier gestures that we have in works to have a bit more facial animation in there instead of just that blank thousand mm. mile stare. But uh, yeah, it's coming. But yeah, we will be also working on obviously like some some blinking and some facial reactions to different situations. For instance, if you get hit, we will reflect that in the yep. facial expression yep. as well. Like, So it will look, uh, I think, more natural again. Yep. As, as I'm watching the chat, one of the things not completely related mm -hmm. to uh, to animations themselves, it's more like really physics related. Of course. And and, and the server, server side things related is that in zero, uh, Obviously, I mean, originally we had the plan to include the, like throwing, the ability to throw things. That's not in the experiment now, and we don't plan it for the for for the initial release. But uh, just to answer the question, we still count with the throwing, Definitely and it, and yes. it's related on on server side and s server synchronization changes. Absolutely, and basically yes. also the f as I said, the physics. Of, of entire game. Yeah, it's a cooperation of all of those uh, departments. Like we have to provide the animations, programmers have to plug in the yeah. physics, and also the other programmers have to make that synchronized over the server. Right. But yes, uh, we don't have that at the moment in in this yeah. in this build. But yes, we want to mm -hmm. have that in game. Obviously, yeah. like it's an important feature. Uh, and, and again, just to confirm that what we've like talked about earlier. There's going to be jumping in the game, yes. jumping over obstacles, obstacles, and then climbing over smaller and even a little bit higher yeah, obstacles. Yeah, like, uh, like I think there will be like three different heights you can climb over and climb on top yep. and continue. If it's like, for instance, like small, uh, small some, I don't know, something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, but it's not ex an experimental now. It's not going to be released with a phase experimental. But there's going to be jumps. There's going to be climbing over obstacles. Oh. So don't worry, guys. It's coming. It's coming. Okay. Do we still have anything more to show? Anything I'm pretty happy specifically with exciting? What shown so far? Yeah. Me too. It's but it's quite a lot. Like, basically, it's all that there was and more. So I think like yeah, the character is shaping up pretty nicely. So yeah, we're happy. For sure. I mean, I personally can't wait for the moment that people really will be able to play with this. Because Me too, right? That, that means so much actually having the control. I, we keep saying that again and again, but this cannot be overstated. It's just so completely different. It is completely different. Okay. So I think that will be all from you guys. Thanks for coming, Victor. Thank you. Thanks for, for coming, Adam. You. Thank you for letting uh, me play. It was a very good showcase. And uh, yeah. Let, let's let's switch back and let's have Eugene on on the scene right now. Thank All you, right. guys. Thank you.
Okay, I think we're back. Welcome, Eugene. Welcome to the live stream. Hey, nice to see you guys. Uh, so, Buddy is, I think, setting up. Do we need to do something specific now? I don't think so. Okay. The, can we have the guys back, maybe, if they're still there somewhere, to have a little bit of multiplayer action, maybe? Okay. That'd be nice. Uh, okay, Eugene. 0 0.63, one of the biggest changes of Daisy overall. Definitely changes completely everything. Uh, wh wh what would you? What's the most important thing that you want to say about the new update that that we have for guess, Daisy? So as we we're watching chat the whole time, yeah, um, there were lots of questions, and I, I made like small notes yeah. that I want to cover because people have nice. been asking about that um, the whole time. Uh, so one of the top complaints there, loot. Yes, we're working on central economy. Right. We're working on making the distribution right. We know there will be some problems in the past, and we're definitely not going to uh, stop. Uh, and just yeah. like we want to focus on making it better, and it's already working a lot better, and there's still like ways to go and make yeah. it more seamless, make it more natural. Like you'll be seeing items that, that not only the position of the items, just like the the, the places they will be seeing them, uh, the the quantity they will be uh, getting to the players, everything is being taken in, taken into account, and so hopefully we'll cover that. One of the another biggest questions that was happening there are vehicles. Right. We know. Oh uh, yeah, obviously. Vehicles are important for Daisy. We definitely agree. Um, there are people working on vehicles as we speak. Yeah. Um, and, and for quite a long time, actually. Yeah, I, just just so you know, and to understand the undertaking we're going for for the new engine, and why we're why it took so long. Uh, we're w working on the new vehicles for about year and a half, maybe two years. Uh, I we want to make them the best we we can, and I, we know they won't be ready for the first experimental. And I know we'll be talking with Martin about like yeah. how the experimental is gonna look like over over time, how it's gonna change, will dart the timelines. But understand that vehicles will be in 0 0.63 before it goes basically uh, uh, 1.0. Yeah. Um, another thing that was asked the most: jump and vault. We understand it's important. Traversal environment is, is extremely important. It's something yeah. that we're working on right now. Uh, we're preparing, we have like a special map to test the jumps and, yep. and vaults and traversal. Um, it's one of the most important things we want to cover as far as traversal besides uh, vehicles. It's going to happen again, it's going to happen after experimental comes out, but before 1.0. Yeah. And that since 1.0 is this year, we want to, yeah. I just want to make sure you understand that all this of, is all important. All of this we're talking about here yeah. is happening within 2018. Yeah, the year of um, Daisy, as we like to say. And another important thing that people have been asking all the time about in chat: zombies. Yeah. Yes, zombies are important to this game. There will be zombies, <laughs> lots of them. And I, they, I can't state how how important zombies are right now for us, yeah. uh, because that's one of our major priorities right now. Like, yeah. that's the only thing where we want to be focusing on uh, in the in the next few weeks, uh, definitely. Base building and all the things that have been missed by and, yeah. and said by Peter from Optics. There is like a large part of technology that we're working on uh, that's basically tied to base building, optics, and all those things. We'll hopefully be able to package them and get them out on experimental as, as soon as we can, uh, which shouldn't take that long. Um, there was one thing that was mentioned before. Uh, all of the uh, options on the HUD can be actually turned off. Yeah. So you can get the role play experience you want. There was also a question on, Com uh, in the chat Completely well. zero HUD is absolutely possible on any server where you want. Exactly. And I know a lot of the things that you've been seeing uh, are, are still work in progress, but we're definitely working hard on making sure whatever we get out is is playable, is a good game, and you'll be having fun with it. Like yep. that's our main goal. So that's just like the short questions <laughs> that we had and I wanted to cover because I, I know those were important to you guys. Yeah. And we can come back to the schedule. Yeah. So for the interruption, Let, I just may, felt may, like maybe one thing we can get back to is the infected, mm -hmm. the the because and and the reasons why we don't have them on in this specific build. A, 
we have some 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 issues with with the infected movement, right? Being like displayed on the client side uh, a little bit in a less ideal way than we would like to present, mm -hmm. and that's why we ultimately decided not to include <laughs> them in the build today. Uh, We're of course testing zombies every yeah. day, so be, if you would be watching us, us playing yeah. the game every day, uh, there will be zombies. Yeah. There are bugs with them, and as Martin said, yeah. their movement is not ideal right now. There are some synchronizations with synchronization issues with, right. with zombies. Uh, but the technology is there, the data seems right, there is an obvious bug somewhere, and we need to find it. Yeah. And once we do that, we'll be right on point. Yeah. Th th there's absolutely zero chance that we would go out with any experimental build without the infected, which is an yeah. absolutely critical part of, 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 yeah. of, of, of what Daisy is as a game. Like, like. And when you look at all the features that Daisy should encompass as, a, as, a, as you look at the vision of the game and what it should be in the future, what it should be as, as experimental comes out, what you guys want, what we want as, 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 the, as the developers, because I think it's really important to say that a lot of the things that we want are very much aligned. Like we want the same game that you guys want most of the time. We might disagree on some small things, but there's definitely a, a large correlation. Uh, from the quality that we want to go for, um, and yeah, we're not going to stop until we do that. Right. The other thing why I wanted to mention the infected is that as we were testing it earlier today with this build, as soon as you actually fire your weapon in, in a city now, you get quite easily <laughs> overwhelmed by, 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 the, by the actual hordes of the infected that are, that are attacking you. And that would basically mean we would be dying a lot on the live stream. And yeah, we also wanted to kind of avoid that. <laughs> yeah, that's a actually a good point from, uh, from Martin. Zombies are really hard right now. Yeah. And I, even if you disregard the, the synchronization issues, uh, we're still tweaking them. And it's very, very easy to die if you don't stealth uh, exactly. in the space where the zombies are. The sounds are like very easy to make in a in a enough volume that that you'll alert a lot of zombies yes. and like me myself I, I don't think I'm I'm best at the game but I'm not bad yeah uh, and I have a very hard time fighting like two or three zombies at the time like one maybe with yeah. a, like a cold weapon is but okay you don't want to hurt yourself you're dead because as soon as you get injured yeah. and you slow down you just like die a horrible death. <laughs> So so yeah so yeah this is this is the infected obviously and maybe even I I keep staying at at the infected but it's such a huge topic actually uh, it, you don't have to only be worried about actually you know dying from the infected attacks you should also worry about the part that you only get injured because as we've seen earlier it slows down your character movement it influences the overall gameplay situation you find yourself in so. It's not only that, you really have to, as Peter was suggesting earlier in the live stream, you just really have to think about how you play Daisy and what you do. It's definitely the pressure that, that it creates in the game. When you feel you're dying, things are blurring out, yep. like there's desaturation on the screen or whatever uh, processes we're going to apply when, when the de death is near. Um, y you will feel under pressure all the time, hopefully, from survival mechanics, from zombies, from the lack of food or like a ammo to, to protect yourself. You'll be stealthing through the cities, hopefully, uh, trying to avoid zombies because you will die easily. Yes. And, and we want to keep the engagements blood pumping. And that's what we aim for. So hopefully mm -hmm. the freedom that the new animation system, the new technology that we created over the last mm -hmm. couple of years creates uh, a whole lot of options for us. I know they, that there is still a way to go. Um, the thing that we have in the hands right now has a lot of potential and, and the potential that we can definitely deliver. Yes. Okay, moving on from, from the obvious lack of infected <laughs> in our today's live stream. Uh, let me open my notes. So yeah, big question from everybody who's following us closely in, 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 in status reports and, and other content that we put out on social media. Uh, we've mentioned already that we have the goal to, to, to get to beta with Daisy this year, mm -hmm. to get to the final 1.0 uh, release, which means Daisy leaving early access. Uh, but our immediate goal is getting the 0 0.63 experimental out. So what, what is our goal, overall goal, for the first experimental release? Yeah. So I know it's hard to believe, uh, but... <laughs> We've, we've been silent for a, for a very good reason. Yes. 
creating this technology took a long time. We made some mistakes, uh, and we definitely... As we were suggesting with Victor, only the animation system yeah. in itself was an iterat iterative process for over three years of actual development time. It was a, so it was a long one. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the whole thing and the, the iteration that we're capable of right now is, is enabling the whole progress that we want to hit. And we're waiting for a long time to be sure that, that we, can, we can deliver before announcing any, any dates or anything. Uh, so we really uh, stand by what we say uh, right here, right now. Uh, we want to deliver in 2018 for the first goals or the experimental. What we're going for is we want to scale up. What does it mean is that we're going to be releasing experimental as a stress test first. Yep. So we'll be seeing it live for a couple of hours here and there in uh, soon. <laughs> That's probably <laughs> the best word uh, to be here mean, right now. Pe pe people can check yeah, our yeah. progress in the, on the actual daisy.com website. If they check out the, the 0 0.63 checklist, yeah. you can actually see all the items that are work in progress that still need to be done and that are already done for the release. So you can, we, we are obviously not talking dates because uh, we, we have some experience with it, let's say. But, but I'm going to explain why, why, why we're actually careful, because I think it's important to understand that. We, like there's, I don't, like I might be like a couple bucks off. I think there's about 290 Jira tickets right now for, uh, for the experimental release. Uh, we're closing a lot of them, we're opening some as the bugs are introduced. Um, but there are a few like, critical issues, like the synchronization with zombies, where there is still like, a lot of research behind finding the bug that's causing the, the, the synchronization on the zombies, even if the players are all right. Um, and it's hard to estimate like finding some of these things. But a lot of the things that you'll, be, you'll been seeing, like the crashes or, or, or whatever, uh, during the internal development, like most of them are, are easy to fix, most of them. The hard ones are hard to predict. And if we have still have these critical ones on the table, we're going to be very careful about dates. Um, but it's definitely uh, coming soon. Um, after this 0 0.63 experimental is first live, which means we're going to be using a lot of our resources, both stable, experimental, to enable a lot of players to get in, play for a couple of hours. We're going to get the feedback, do the iteration patch, and get it live, hopefully, as soon as possible after that. We're going to do small iterations at first. And as soon as the stability of the client and the server is all right, uh, we're going to put it live for everybody to play all the time, so it's going to be under the normal maintenance mode. And as soon as that happens, 63 Experimental is live all the time. Um, we're going to make sure that the server owners that are currently renting servers for DayZ will be able to switch over to Experimental version. Because I really think not all the people will be playing 0 0.62 whilst, once 0 0.63 is available. It's yeah. a it's an amazing imagine, change. Really. And it's hard to explain. You just have to get it in your hands. Like it's yeah. it's a it's a new game. Yeah. So let let's take a look at some of the more specific questions from the mm -hmm. chat. Maybe we'll, we're gonna maybe one question, then we're gonna talk about something. Yeah. Uh, which one to pick? Mm, there's so many. So some people obviously wanted to see how we redesigned the Northwest Airfield, but I think I don't think. I don't think we want to spoil this. No, so no. we're going to keep it a secret so for a while. We, we're gonna I know keep Adam it a secret. put a lot of work into it, as yeah. well as our artists who created the, the new assets. It's, a, it's an amazing piece of work and, and a part of a surprise uh, that we want to deliver with Experimental. Okay, very specific question. Okay. Since we have some of the changes in inventory and user actions, will we be able to rotate items in our backpacks? That's a very specific question. I'm getting the <laughs> confirmation <laughs> that we can say yes. <laughs> all right, yeah, we, all right. We, we, all right, so P Peter confirms that we will be able to rotate items in our backpacks. Yay. Cool. Bayonets. That's a, a, an, another very specific question. We're kind of hopping, but let, let's, let, let's stick to the, to the weapons team mm -hmm. maybe now. So they will be back, obviously. We know that, the, the actual model yes. itself. But... In, 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 in over the course of 0 0.63, there's going to be one very important change that will change how we, we use that item yeah. in the game. I actually. think the, the word freedom really just like, describes what we are trying to do with Daisy. Basically, the player choice and how you 
um, use the environment, use the items that you have um, to give you the options uh, uh, during all these situations that you, that you basically <laughs> see yourself in. Um, and one of them is definitely like you see somebody approaching, you get in a melee range, we want to enable you to, to fight with a ranged weapon in melee and bionets yep. should enable that. So that's, that's something that the, f that the whole uh, freedom thing for DayZ uh, is, is going to bring. So yeah, we're seeing that in the future. Cool. Getting back to the version that we are running right now, we, we've, we've seen quite a lot of the stuff related to gameplay and how, how the feeling of the, of the game changes. Uh, w what can we say about overall performance of the game? And that means yep. both on client side, server side. Okay, so when it comes to performance, um, when you look at the minimum specs and recommended specs for DayZ, um, since the game has been in the game has been in development for a long time, uh, the the hardware available to players has definitely changed. Yep. Now, we're looking into uh, what the specs should be for for DayZ, but because like we made a lot of optimization over the last couple of years, like tons of them, even after the 0.62 released, the game is running very smooth. Um, even on the extreme settings, uh, and we're still tweaking that. And now the question is like, we can always get the more performance out of it, yep. just like scale down the data or just like make it uh, uh, less visually appealing. But we want to use the performance. If we can get 60 FPS stable for, for all those specs that you'll be seeing with different settings, uh, we might use the performance in different ways from bigger draw distance to like more visual fidelity on mm -hmm. the screen. And we'll be tweaking that over the course of the experimental, uh, definitely. Same goes for server performance, mm -hmm. because like currently during the test, we're seeing like 300, 400 FPS on server yep. uh, under some load, which is a very good number. Um, but again, like always, with performance of the servers, it doesn't matter if anything above 60 really doesn't matter most of the time uh, because of how the simulation works. Uh, so you can always use the performance to add more zombies, add more players. And we'll be looking into those stress tests to see like how many players we can get into the server, like how much we can scale up, what, is, what are the actual possibilities that we can achieve um, with, with the technology that we created. So all the things that you've been even asking in the chat about like how many players on the server, like uh, how many zombies, like we want to see zombie, zombie hordes. We're going to be tweaking all those things and seeing like what are the maximums for us, like what, does, what, do, you, what do, do you guys feel comfortable with, like yeah. what we can achieve with the hardware that we have available. And uh, you'll be seeing that and using that yourself, uh, because when 0 0.63 goes stable, uh, you'll have the access to the server files. So uh, that's actually where modding comes in as well. Yes, 0 .60, 0 0.63 stable, guys. Remember that? Modding server files, all available to our community to play with and to, to have fun on yeah. their own servers. So basically, as I was saying, scaling and freedom. We want to scale up, we want to turn on features, we want to yep. keep bringing things into the game yep. that, that you are longing for, for years now, uh, as, as we do. And uh, we're going to give the server owners the ability to switch to experimental, use the 0.63 yep. to, to create events and, and play with the guys that have been playing with them for a long time right now. And after that, we're just going to give you the server files, both yep. for Windows and maybe down their own as well as Linux, which is in preparation right now. Yep. So there's lots of things coming. And, and we want to wanna make sure we get almost all the features in during the, during the time between 0 0.63 first experimental and, and 0 0.63 stable. So there's basically a timeline between those two points where we want to get all these things in and make sure they are nice, playable, smooth, we're going to be stress testing with you guys. We're going to be doing all sorts of things. So um, I'm very hopeful for what you'll be seeing this year uh, and, and excited. Right. Uh, maybe related to uh, one thing that we don't really talk a lot about is, uh, you know, obviously we've had a very long quiet time for the past or not a couple of months. It's been some time where we didn't really had the chance to push any updates on, on the live version of the game because of all the you know hev heavy lifting that was happening behind yeah. the scenes. But uh, as, as soon as we got to the point that we have 
the stress test for 0 0.63 out. Uh, we, have the, we have the servers for experimental running. Uh, and we also have the ability to have uh, community servers switched to, to, the, to the experimental branch. Uh, there's also going to be a lot of general balancing of, of the gameplay happening over the course yeah. of that iteration. So when, when do you expect we, we can, not time-wise, but where do, you, where do you think we can expect the, the DAISY game really behave the, the, the way that we, we would call it uh, a somewhat balan balanced game, let's say? Wh when's the point? So what do we expect when it comes to balancing in, in, the, in, the, in the future? There's definitely like settings we want to get it right now uh, so that the game is... Is, is playable and it feels nice, but there will be oddities and edge cases where it just doesn't feel right. What happens after that is like, one thing is feedback. So feedback is in very important yes. for us. So uh, all the challenges that we have will be like, I know we, we have, have been silent, but yes. even these days I still read like all of the Reddit. I still read yeah. like all of the forums. We basically read it all, all of yeah. us. Yeah, and I think because there is so much passion in the team for, for the game that we're making, like everybody reads. And it's, a, it's always a bit disheartening, but we know what we want to bring to the game, what we are delivering this year, uh, is, is bring some positivity for the community that, that they'll be able to create, mod the game, they'll be seeing all the features that they've been wanting for, uh, for a long time. So all these, mm -hmm. all these things are, are just exciting. Um, and when it comes to balancing, just to come back to the question, yep. um, so feedback, very important. Yes, uh, absolutely. As soon as the first stress test happens. Uh, so we'll be reacting to your feedback. We'll be reacting to the data that we will be gathering mm -hmm. from the game. So um, from all the kill shots, like how the player dies, why he dies, where he dies, mm -hmm. like did he have, didn't he have enough loot? Like did he have access yep. to ambient loot, food, uh, drink, uh, ammo? Like what happened? Why did he die? Like is the experience actually fun? Like all these things are definitely going to be uh, considered. And we're going to be tweaking numbers. We're going to be tweaking yeah. um, uh, tons of things that you'll see in game from, from speeds mm -hmm. to just like uh, all the gameplay elements um, that, that we, you will encounter. Yeah, it is again going to be the time to dig through the forums, dig through the feedback tracker, and just listen, listen to feedback of of every one of you and listening to to the feedback of uh, you know people we have even on live streams because we obviously watch people play live. I know that because of the silence that has been uh, um, happening over the last two years, even uh, because we've been focusing on getting the some of the core things out for uh, the old version of the engine uh, and the old technology and basically what what's live right now. Um, and in the meantime, most of the team was being focused on the, on the new gen engine, new technology that we're getting out with 0 0.63. Mm -hmm. um, there's just like about 80 core members on the team uh, with some of the artists, it might right. go even over 100, with some of the externals, maybe even over 110. So it's a large team, it's a yeah. large production. There's a lot of uh, stuff happening. Everybody's reading your feedback. It's not like it's being forgotten. Everything yeah. is, we think about it, all the time, and uh, we definitely will yep. make the game that we want to play and you want to play. Yes. And, and, and to, to iterate with that, we need to have, obviously, the live version of that new DAISY experience, yeah. 0 0.63 out. That's why I want to go uh, out as soon as possible, because there are some things that, even with this amount of people and, and the feedback that we have internally, that's just there's just no way uh, to go around public testing. So yeah. yeah, stress testing is very important for us and we're gonna, um, once we're happy with the base and getting the most important things, we're gonna be playing that game with you guys, we're gonna be getting feedback yeah. and turning on the features uh, as they come in. And, and, and again, maybe just to re-emphasize this for the people who have come a little, like, a little bit later to the live stream, there's going to be 0 0.63 experimental, the initial release, we're going to ramp up. We're going to keep adding content and features over the course of 0 0.63 Experimental. That includes uh, vehicles. That includes base building. Uh, that includes all, all the other stuff uh, everybody's uh, asking all the time. So these are going to happen throughout the course of Experimental. Yes. Then we get to beta. We get to all that fancy balancing, putting the game, really making it work together. 
with all the content and features that we've decided to have for that phase. And, and that's very important. All the things that you'll see missing from the game will happen during the experimental. Yes. Like we're going to be turning all those things to test them, to yep. scale up, to see how they play out, to see how the sandbox grows with the gameplay features, how it expands the freedom of the player that is available to him, right. how it expands on the stories that you can create. Um, and I, I'm looking forward to those especially. Okay. Very favorite question, obviously, in the community related to, to, to all the things that, that people ask us about very often is what are we going to do about the gamma settings in the game? Very, very, very popular question. Do, do, we, have some, do, do we have some specific like, idea what we want to do with this? There are like, more options what to do with yep. those. Uh, we're still uh, in talks how to, how to enforce that, but it's one of the, the things that the community has been complaining about a lot, and, and, and we know it's a problem. Yeah. Uh, we're just not happy with the solutions we have right now. Um, but it's a thing like a lot of, lot of the issues that you have been seeing over, over the last couple of years um, is a thing that, that we want to fix during the experimental. Okay. Uh, we also, besides our massive and awesome PC community, there's also people waiting for uh, the, the DAISY releases uh, on consoles. Yes. Are we ready to share anything about this a little bit? Um, there have been a lot of questions about this, like how does it work uh, for us? And it's one of the great boons of the technology that we have right now. Um, there are only a like, couple people, uh, one for PS4 uh, and, and like a couple, maybe three, four for Xbox uh, working on it to make sure it's, it's compatible with the PC that we can, we can run it. And it's, it's a very exciting thing uh, because just all these technological marvels that we created over the, over the last couple of years enabled us to make sure that we can release on, on all these platforms yep. without too much of a hassle and, 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 and like insane changes that, yep. that basically change the game as a whole. Yeah. Uh, Generally, people in terms of like development for different platforms, people usually very quickly tend to think that there is like general porting happening. And while, while porting is probably a correct word to yes. use it, it's not that like you take all the content and redevelop the game for those yeah. consoles altogether. It's it's actually a much m much easier process, I would say, than it would see. At least with our technology, we are quite quite good. There at are that. definitely exceptions yeah. uh, to that rule, uh, but what we have right now enables us to do just what Martin said. Yeah. Um, that there, there are some exceptions to that as well, like like UI and, and controls are a very specific thing for consoles. Uh, so you might see some changes there, but otherwise like we want to keep the experience as intact as we can. Yeah. And I think the good thing to say is that uh, thanks to our render, thanks to the changes in the backend, that means the, the Infusion engine that, that is empowering Daisy, we actually now have uh, pretty decent and very playable version, console versions of the game internally, even now. It's, it's running pretty damn nicely, I yeah, would say. Yeah, it's exciting. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to uh, talking with uh, these players that are just used for uh, playing on Xbox, uh, yeah. used on playing on PS4, and, and getting the Daisy experience to them. Because I, I, I really do believe, like even right now on the market, with all the games that we've been compared to, uh, there, there are no such unique experiences as Daisy. Um, it's, it's a very hard sandbox to make, yes. and we want to keep it the way the vision has has expanded over the years, and we keep the freedom of the player. We want to keep the choices. Mm -hmm. We want to um, just make the game. Yeah, as I said before, blood pumping. It needs to keep yeah. the pressure up. The, the, the player interactions and even how we just, you know, interact with the environment itself, being the infected, it, it is all based on, on experiencing the actual emotions of survivalism and, and, and fighting for, for, for survival in, 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 in Daisy Beat against other players or with your friends, actually experiencing those friendly moments that actually also happen in Daisy. So all these stories in the game, they are important for 
both the platforms. Yeah. Very, very it's important. I, I just, just, like, from my own experience, like, I haven't been playing 0 0.62 for a lot in the in the past couple months uh, because I've been focusing on 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 our release and the 0 0.63 mostly, and and. As soon as you guys have been posting on Reddit and Twitter about the place tests have, that we have been doing yeah. and just like, like seeing that, that server fill up and, and close down, fill yeah. up and close down, like I have been having fun. And I cannot say that I have been doing, having fun for the last couple of years. Yeah. I, it's just the game makes me laugh and be happy and angry and it's in a good way. It's just yeah. it's a, it's a definitely a better experience. Yeah. It's not because something frustrates you in the game, you are frustrated with yourself that you've made a stupid decision yeah, yeah. to do, do something that got you there injured are, or, or There or are killed team members that, that can play the game a lot better than I can. Like, <laughs> a lot better. Um, but I don't think that's, that's uh, that big of a problem, because even dying just makes me want to play more. Yeah. And that, that's when that's when Daisy works. It, you, you, you don't... You don't die because something not very clever happened to you in the game. You you died because you've made the wrong decision or you've made the wrong step or things like this. So it is really much more in your control and you control the experience in, in, in the new Daisy. It's uh it's just exciting. I want to play. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's take a look at some of the more stuff. Do you have any specific thing you still want to mention, Eugene? Um, I can't think of anything right yeah. now. Um, I've been watching the chat. Maybe there are some more questions that we can answer. Yep. Um, Looking through those. Again, very specific question regarding to 0 0.63 experimental. As we've been releasing the checklists, one of the things that we said will not be in the initial experimental release yes. is, 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 is scopes on weapons. Why yes. is that? Uh, it, for like a quick explanation would be, I, I've said it a little bit before, um, there is a system called hierarchy between like items in game or within like certain um, entities, objects. And uh, we've been working on implementing something uh, into the new engine uh, that will help us enable some of the advanced features for the, for the scopes and, and, and base building. It's all connected. Um, it's a technology that we'll be deploying uh, hopefully very soon, but the, the thing is that it, it might take a lot of iterations to get that right, and we don't want to compromise like releasing and stress testing the game first. So we could definitely like postpone the game more and yep. and like um, release it later and have all these things yep. in. But uh, but the players have been kind of telling us that yeah. despite some parts of the game still missing, it's already fun enough that we can put it out there for stress tests and, and have people yeah, yeah, definitely. have a go like at it. I know like, some people might be attached to certain things that will be missing from the first experimental, yep. but understand that like, even the experimental period is not going to be like, insane, like years. No, it's, it's like experimental, update, 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 and then we're going to have stable, and you'll have the features that you want. It's just the quick iteration on the new technology should enable us to do just that. And, and I know... Uh, optics are important because it's like the long range gameplay for DayZ is one of the things that uh, people are always excited about. Um, and it's definitely a thing that we're working on right now even. Like I know Peter has been looking into scopes today even. Uh, has been, he has been trying them out. We just want to have them working in, in, in and having them smooth and, yep. and just like interesting. Uh, so unless we're sure, a um, lot of the things that you are uh, looking for in the game are even playable right now on internal build or in some form of fashion, but they are either broken or we're not satisfied with them. Um, there's still a lot of tweaking to do, but to make sure that we can enable lots of players, lots of zombies, we're just gonna focus on getting the stresses out and keep the features churning in. It's it's just like the best way to do it probably. Mm -hmm. uh, we've touched about like we've touched upon this topic a little bit previously, but I still see some questions about mm -hmm. about that in the chat. Uh, the overall uh, server performance, the yes. network performance, the the, the so-called desync that you experience mm -hmm. in the game. Uh, how how is it how is it even now in the first experimental playtests? And what are what are our like our our goals? How how do we want the game to feel compared to 0 0.62 in this regard? So. 
you have to understand that in the old technology, we we didn't have a lot of control about a lot of things that we want to just make better. So we, I know there have been some some remarks even in the chat, like just like you should polish 0 0.62 and and make it better, just like release it before or whatever. It's just the thing is that what you want from the game couldn't be done on that technology. Yes. And desync and fixing the things that were just like part of that problem happening weren't fixable in any real sense. So the only way to go forward was to like rewrite a lot of the technology that we had. Um, and the goal there is definitely like, we I know we spoke about the number 100 of players um, and um, like hopefully uh, hundreds, thousands of zombies. Uh, but we need to scale up. Like we're gonna be yep. careful uh, about what we, we what we put in game because we don't wanna expose you to too much trouble. Yeah, um, baby steps. Uh, but currently in game, what's playable right now with players, it as I said, like the server refs has been fluctuating between 300 and 400. We're gonna use that performance for zombies for additional features. Uh, with players, it's amazing. Like I think it, it works right now very well. With zombies. There's obviously a bug that we need to find why they behave the way they do, uh, because all the things that we are looking at as far as data goes seems all right. Um, yeah, we're gonna find that, fix that, and see what we can do about the zombies to make them more smooth, more entertaining. Um, I know we've been talking about the design with with Peter on, on the zombies, and and some of the things that we'll be seeing are very exciting. Uh, but as I said, like we've been careful before in the last year and a half. From, from when it comes to dates or features, and we're gonna keep it that way until we're sure that things are in the right place. Yep. We'd rather show you than talk about it. And that's something Very that we wanna um, emphasize, like yep. play first, talk later. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> now this is more of a question for Peter maybe, but a lot of people in the chat actually asked that, so let's give it a go. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very obvious that we've changed the item, the, the, the number of slots that items take in, in backpacks now. Uh, is this something to still be balanced, looked over? Yeah, definitely. Like I, I, All the numbers have been made to make the development possible. So you have to understand, guys, like a lot of the things that we are fixing most of the time are things that are blocking us. They're not making the gameplay better. It's just like, how do you enable the development to be faster? That's just like the way we think most of the time. Like. If you would play the game, you would think like this is broken, this is broken, and this is broken. And the same thing goes to balancing. Like we we do things in a default way so that we can work with that. Yep. Anything that that basically affects the gameplay afterwards, we're gonna go through that. There are lots of tweaks, lots of passes that we need to go through, uh, lots of players that we need to tweak. And the same thing goes for anything in the game almost because like this is the first iteration on yep. a new engine. It's very important to understand that first iteration on a new right. engine. It's Tons of changes, like we rewrote like, <laughs> I, I don't want to say like something stupid, uh, <laughs> but uh, there's definitely tens of thousands lines of new script, uh, hundreds of thousands lines of new code. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's just insane, the yeah. amount of undertaking. I, I think we didn't mention this enough today, but the entire technology change, basically all the features and all the settings for, for these features and how the systems work in script, Everything has been rewritten into completely new scripting language that is getting rid of the Arma legacy, basically, the R R RV engine uh, yeah. technology. So this in itself with the new animation system, we know that in our first goals, there's... And actually, like, that's, a, that's, a, yeah. that's a very good point because I think even the question that you asked about desync and the right. synchronization in the game, all of this, these things affect that, like how we, how we do script, how we... How we make sure everything is secure, like you cannot cheat in the game, how the damage system works, like the how how fast is the script, how fast is the animation system, how many animations we can handle. All these things have to be tra transferred between the clients and the server. All of those affect the synchronization issues that you have been seeing in the game in the live version that is right live right now. Mm -hmm. So all these things had like smaller and bigger problems. It's just it's just a thing that, that we focused on, and and all those things are just interconnected. It's a large sandbox. Yep. A lot of things just you break something here, and ten things break right there. It's yep. it's insane. But uh, there is light at the end of the tunnel, and we're right. gonna reach it. Right. I think we have we're running over time, but I think we still have like 
10 minutes of time that we can dedicate to answering the questions because there's, there's still a lot of activity going on in the chat. So <laughs> There's some nice PvP going on. Yeah, also. So, so m maybe one of the topics that, that is a little bit closer to you, Eugene, mm -hmm. uh, is with all the back-end changes in the engine and the technology running behind DayZ, uh, how are we going to approach uh, cheaters and hackers in the game? Yeah. So, like, about a year ago, maybe a year and a half, I I've been sitting down brainstorming being in this room uh, with uh, with the team leads and everybody, and just like I was writing down like a large tree of things that should be in game, and we're trying to make sure that we don't forget anything, that that all of the promises will be kept and and will get in the game, and I wrote a list of like things that you guys have been complaining about all the time, and we know those things are a problem, like we want to fix them. Uh, that's why we did the whole technology change. Um, and security was definitely one of them. I, I know that the damage system in the old game was mostly client side, and almost, we couldn't like do anything about it. Like there's, there's no way we can, we can keep tweaking it that, that you won't see like explosions in game, like you've been seeing cheats and hackers like damaging you from afar or seeing things. As I said, all these things are interconnected, and security is, is embedded in all the technology that we created, from animation system to script. Everything is server-side, we want to keep it that way, and we want to keep the performance high, so we can enable tons of players, tons of zombies, without cheating, preferably. And uh, we're going to be keeping an eye on that very closely. Um, we're going to be having a security review on the game, hopefully soon. Uh, to check everything is all right and we're not missing anything. Um, and yeah, I, I'm just excited yeah. about all these things. Okay. Uh, going more through some of the... Oh my God, there is so many questions. What do we pick? All right. We don't have anybody from the audio team here, but mm -hmm. l let's check up a little bit on, on that, on the progress mm -hmm. that we're making in, in yeah. this part of the game. Because obviously it is a very important part of the gameplay experience. Um, so the audio is, is composed of two parts. One thing is that we're implementing like sound controllers, which are things that basically enable us to do a lot of uh, different sound effects from like making sure that Indoor, you're hearing different sounds, like echoes are right, like you'll be seeing, uh, hearing the sounds of the environment, uh, the zombies, and, and it will actually have a gameplay impact. So uh, you'll see zombies shouting, and they will be attracting another zombie, or, or like groups of zombies. You'll be doing things that are just like loud, you'll be, we'll be, we will be telegraphing those in game, you'll be hearing them, they will be affecting both the players and the zombies, um, and all these things just should have a, um, a proper, sorry, I'm just like distracted by the, <laughs> by the PVP there. Um, uh, basically, all these things need to get interconnected properly. Uh, and so far, we're mostly focusing on the, on the gameplay part. Yep. Because like, there is, we want to push the audio quality further than what we have right now. Um, but gameplay comes first. Uh, so we're going to focus on all the things that make sure that these interactions work. Uh, before we start tweaking the sounds. So we're focusing on the sound technology, making sure that we have all the tools available. And after that, we're going to do a pass on the audio and just get all of the new sounds in mm -hmm. uh, in a proper way. But yeah, gameplay first. It needs to work. That already in experimental compared to 0 0.62, uh, people will be able to uh, hear some of the First, first teasers of what's going to come because with the new audio. Yeah, yeah, that's actually the, the right point. Uh, so when it comes to new audio, things that don't affect gameplay in a, in a certain way are mostly like ambient sounds and like environment sounds, and and some of the controls that change um, some of the values. Uh, so you'll have better idea where the sound is coming from or where why it is affected in this way. So these things are getting in right now. Um, uh, because they don't don't like mix up with the with the gameplay part, uh, and I know uh, Philip uh, is working hard on on a lot of the new implementation uh, before experimental comes out. Mm -hmm. And one of the things, yeah, ambient sound like gun sounds are in. Yeah. Ambient yeah. should be in right now as well. He's working on on uh, both uh, C and uh, and like some of the 
more surprising things that you'll see okay. in the future. I'm going to keep yeah, some of them uh, under, the, under the hood, yeah. but yeah. If you've seen some of our recent status support clips, already when, when you enter a building in 0 0.63, the sound already changes there, so yeah. it's not, not like constantly the, the same audio setup. When it's raining, you can the, the impacts of the rain on different types of surfaces are changing. So, so you know these are little things, really. But when you hear them in the game, it just adds up so much more to, to the overall feeling. It's one of the things that we've been seeing in the last uh, couple of months and, and changes that we've been doing. Like the atmosphere on in Daisy mm -hmm. um, is something that will be changing. Like. Uh, I know Adam has made many changes to to lightning, to to fog, and he's tweaking things around just to make sure the atmosphere in the game and it, it's just on point. And the same things go for audio. Uh, when it, whatever it is, zombie sounds, uh, player sounds, gunshots, like uh, gunshots from afar, um, yep. the environment, the animals. Want to make sure that the audio works for you and you know what's happening around you. Right. Uh, and you can actually use that to your advantage. <coughs> All right. We, we keep getting questions about overall performance. So well, let's maybe repeat the client-side performance yes. status of things in 0 0.63. So just to reiterate, client-side performance is better than it was uh, in and 0 0.62. That's, and that's already yeah. saying something because it has been improved yeah. by, by a long shot. And... Um, that's the thing, like we can push the performance further, we can get more FPS and more FPS and more FPS, but that's the not the only thing that we can get out of that. Like more performance also means we can use the performance for more, for more visual fidelity. So there is a balance to it. But the game already runs better than it had after the new render release. Um, that <coughs> I think if you can run that game on like six year old hardware, which you can right now, yep. I think the game's run well. game runs well. Um, it's, I don't know like, what more to say about it. Like, yeah, it, it basically runs on almost anything. Um, and it's very much scalable. So yeah. just like <coughs> you can increase it and have the visual fidelity that you're seeing on the stream right now. Or you can just like, get low and, and play it on old hardware. Yeah. Like, I don't think it's <coughs> going to be too much of a problem. If you, basically, if you haven't been playing Daisy for, let's say, the past couple of years, yeah. You, you've maybe played the game before 0 0.60 update. Uh, you have absolutely no idea how how well Daisy runs right yeah. now. It, it's connected with with our obviously being able to push the the performance of the PC that far is obviously that's one of the things that allowed us to to also explore other platforms and and combined with the with the server performance improvements and and. And the animation system changes. It just makes up for a much smoother game in general. Yeah, so uh, one of the things that I want to wanna mention when it comes to that performance is that <coughs> it just scales very well up. I, I think we, I, I've played it even on 660, um, <coughs> like an old, it, that's maybe six years or something. Um, it's just, I really don't think it's going to be an issue down the road. Yep. Like, performance is just on point, um, and it runs well on consoles, which are yeah. uh, that like a like a good uh, sample to see. Like if you can, if your game runs on consoles, you're you're in a good place because yes. like we can scale up, scale down. We can get uh, more from from the new Xbox. We can get from more from the new PS4. Yeah. We can get from uh, get more visual fidelity from higher end PC. But we can also like get it down and keep it running on older hardware. It's it's just fine. Right. Couple of last questions. First one is a bit tricky. Uh, obviously, mm. uh, battle royale games do uh, very, very well these days, <laughs> and we have a thing called survivor games. Yes. W what do we do with that? Um, hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure how much I can say. So, yeah. um, like, I know you've seen like the mod from Adam uh, Namalsk uh, that hopefully you'll be seeing uh, after after the modding on zero, modding on Daisy starts. Um, but there are a couple more surprises that we wanna uh, keep for you for the release itself, and one of them is definitely mm -hmm. Survivor Games. Um, it will be interesting to see how the whole BR genre. Uh, okay. 
works for and Daisy. By the way, just to be very clear, that's BR as in Battle Royale, not VR as in yeah, yeah, virtual yeah. reality. Just to be very clear about this. But, um, so, but yeah, so th there's this. There's Survivor Games. We don't want to talk about it. But the important thing stays, and that is that Daisy is a is a survival survival game in uh, in its core. And the basic gameplay loop of, of player interaction, not just being the last survivor on the server, that's that's going to be the, the key thing in Daisy. So yes, sure, battle royale games are popular, but mm -hmm. that's not what makes Daisy the game it is. Yeah, that's that's I think like the things that we have been focusing uh, on from survival and the freedom of the player and like the persistent gameplay that you'll be seeing in in, uh, in the future. Like I, we want to see players uh, spawning the game. Um, I want to choose a role, just like focus on your story, like find things, fire, fight, yeah. find friends, like fight enemies, uh, try to get uh, interesting items, try to build a base, yeah. uh, try to get a vehicle, maybe even a helicopter down in the future. Like all these things we want to see from, from the low-end gameplay to the high-end yeah. gameplay that we're seeing after hours upon hours. Or even like the initial stuff that happens on the coast or in the first cities, uh, the first encounters that you'll have with all the players, the discussions, the, the friends that you'll make. It's, it's a very special game um, in, in so many ways. And I remember two, three years ago with, with Peter, we even attended a wedding uh, of, of like two players who actually met on Daisy. So, I, so nice. I do believe there is something special in this game. Uh, when it comes to uh, yeah. just like meeting people around yeah. from all over the world, it it literally creates friendships in in real life. Yeah, and I, some of these people have been together for years and and have been either playing Daisy or different games, and uh, I I seriously hope I'll be seeing the players uh, come back to the game just yeah. because it's gonna be a good one. And don't kill on side people. <laughs> just interact and talk to people. That that's where Daisy really shines. Uh, although the combat is fun. <laughs> yeah, true. Especially with the new animation system. Yeah, yeah. All That's right, uh, Eugene, the hardest, hardest question of them all for, for oh. the end of our live stream. Although it sounds bad. <laughs> How far are we from releasing the 0 0.63 on Experimental? As, a, as we said, we're not talking dates, but give us a little tease. Everybody's waiting, Eugene. I know everybody's waiting. One, one, one thing, we never, so b before the actual live stream, b before the actual live stream, some people were thinking and tweeting and posting on Reddit like, the last live stream we did on, was on 0 0.62, mm -hmm. and on, on that day, literally, we released uh, 0 0.62 to stable. I remember w there was a there was a discussion whether we should release it on first of April. Yeah. Like, just like, call it delay Z <laughs> and release it on second of April, just like we missed first April, nice. sorry guys. Uh, I, it's just like, we make fun of it ourselves. Like we know yeah. we're way behind, but we're going to have a good game that yeah. we're, that we're, have been, have been taking uh, care of for a long time and that we're hopefully proud of. Um, when it comes to the release date, um, we're going to push it out for a stress test, uh, soon. And we're talking. Not months, we're talking weeks. Weeks. Uh, I'm going to be careful about the exact dates. Yes. Um, but that there's certainly um, data and, and, and things that we want to see uh, coming to us and, and feedback from the first iteration. And we're going to be careful before we put it live uh, yep. for like a longer time. So you might be seeing like experimental update uh, in the near future for like a quick play. Yep. Um, Servers are going to be up for a couple of hours yeah. to stress test them. And uh, and hopefully you're going to like the experience uh, for the limited time that it's going to be available. We're going to be announcing it before, so you can prepare. Yep. Uh, at least we can stress test properly, because if thousands of people are coming in, yeah. uh, we're going to be seeing the uh, <laughs> the problems that, that we can't really test right now. Yeah. Um, and once we're sure that the stability is up there, uh, that the client is not crashing, that the servers are not crashing, that we can handle uh, the players and, and thousands of them, hopefully, uh, I, I think we're just going to keep it live after that. But it's, yeah, it's, we want to keep everything in this year. So yeah, yeah, we're weeks away from experimental. And we're going to keep working on that experimental 
scaling it up, getting the features in, and get stable out for you guys to play. Yeah, like that's that's our goal. All right. In the meantime, uh, we are going to be going to a couple of events probably before it happens. Right on this Sunday, actually, we're going to San Francisco and we're going to be showing uh, Daisy to a couple of people. And right after that, we will also be going to PAX East. So if anybody wants to show up on PAX East, wants to give us a visit, we'll make sure to uh, notify you ahead on our social media channels. And you can actually meet me and Buddy uh, in Boston in a couple of weeks. So we will be doing our best to, to keep you guys uh, informed about the progress that we made before, before any of these releases happen. Uh, Evaluating after today, we will also be deciding what we do with live streaming next because I think it's uh, kind of uh, fun stuff to do. So we'll see about that. A and generally, we will just want to keep you, you know, informed on all of our channels. It's always a bit stressful when it comes yeah. to streaming. Like we've spent at least two days. If if I discount the game and the things that we need to do for the game yeah. to make sure it's streamable in some form or sense to to get the most uh, like blockers out of the way so we can show uh, the stuff that we have been working on. Because like in isolated uh, time frames and isolated development, you can you can test these things out. But when you yeah. launch the whole sandbox, these things just need to interact properly. So all these things we need to iron out. And, and once we do, we're just going to get the stresses out for you guys to play. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we're going to get the feedback, get the ball rolling, and just get the game out. Yeah. All right, I think that about wraps up our today's live stream. Buddy, thanks again for playing with us today. Bam, Eugene, thanks for coming to the live stream. Uh, the VOD of the live stream will be available on YouTube. Uh, we're going to make it happen as soon as possible. And obviously, you can find us at daisy.com, Twitter, slash Daisy Dev Team, and basically all the social networks have the same handle, Daisy Dev Team. So keep following us. Read the status reports. They're good. They're seriously good for you. Read them. We're going to try to ramp them up with some visuals because the game is getting in a better shape. We could stream it today, so it should hopefully be much better. So we're going to be posting you, keep you updated with, with some more content for the status reports. Yeah. And any closing words, Eugene? More play, less talk. Like, I think that's the most right. important thing for us. All right, let's wrap it up. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for coming to the live stream. Thanks for hanging out in the chat. Thanks to our awesome community team in the chat actually answering questions. Shout outs to Matej and, and, and Dana for taking care of the chat and also our community moderators. Thanks, everybody on the team. Philip, thanks a lot for organizing the live stream. Uh, see you guys in the next one or in a status report. Mm -hmm.